The Bible's trippy, bro. There's some things. I found this video that said biblically accurate angels. And it was some guy who graphically designed, 3D modeled, biblically accurate angels. And I pulled this video up and I'm like, what the fuck is this? Well, we'll play a clip. But like in the Bible, it describes angels as these like giant eyeballs with giant like multi four wings and like the head of a bull and the head of a, a hawk and the head of a human and like 30 million eyeballs. And like that's why when they say like when you see an angel, be not afraid because it has this appearance appearance of like this monstrous beast with all these eyeballs. But they can also take the form of a human at times, because when you think of an angel, you think of this like beautiful oh, white, you know, flowing wings. thing, wings, little yeah. halo over its head. But a majority of the time, not majority of times, uh, uh, occasionally in the Bible, they describe angels as these giant creatures with thousands and thousands of eyes. Hmm. So it's like it sounds like an alien. Yeah, and who knows? And I think that the Bible is a book of. Tremendous stories. value. Yeah, stories and tremendous value. But just like anything, you can translate it into what you want to believe. Like, let's hypothetically, let's say you came to me one day. You're like, Travis, you're a loser. I could either take that literally or if I was super twisted in my head or how, just whatever, I could translate it and be like, well, he's only calling me a loser because he's jealous of me. Yeah. I'm the best in the world. And I twist <laughs> that story to fit my personal needs. No, you're right. Because I've, I've seen this happen many a times at church where mm -hmm. they'll read the scripture and the motherfucker, sorry, I call a preacher, a <laughs> motherfucker, but this motherfucker will, will, will explain it. And I'm like, dude, I didn't, I didn't uh, comprehend it that way at all. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, what the fuck? Like, yeah. how can you just say that right now? Because I'm sure if I'm the person that's thinking differently, there has to be 20 other motherfuckers that are like, yeah. wait a minute, did he really just say X, Y, and Z means yeah. this? You know, so I don't know. I feel like the Bible is just, it's all um, interpreted differently. Yeah. And I think uh, it's all about how you. Yeah, what you find in it. and Because I've, I've seen a lot of interpretations of it that are like, oh, wow, that makes, makes way more sense than yeah. how it is traditionally interpreted but then there's so many different versions there's a king james version and yeah then there's, you know what i'm saying well and that's how that that's how it happens you know it's like they start to like well instead of me having to sit here and tell all people all the people how i want them to hear it i'm going to translate it yeah into a, another version and say this is the best version so then but i think it if you go into it without the idea of like reading it literally mm -hmm. i think the bible is a perfect definition of having to read between the lines and really understanding that there is some valuable life lessons and hints to a deeper truth than just verbatim reading. Jesus turned water into wine and made bread out of nothing. Yeah. It's like looking deeper. Like maybe that means something along the lines of he put some grapes in a cup and put and water smashed them and put some water. And then next thing you know. There's wine. It was lit. Or it's metaphorically saying something along the lines of it's all about how you make it. It's mm -hmm. all about how you view it. If you view things just as plain as water, you're not going to have a fulfilling life. But if you view them in a more positive way, you can make something out of nothing. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like, I think, and again, it all depends on what you're looking for. Yeah. You know, so I've yet to like dive 100% deep into it. Oh, me neither. It's too. Yeah. It's yeah. Okay. But I will eventually. I think I'm trying to event, just get myself to a point where I can put because I have my biases against things like Christianity and Catholicism. Yeah. And certain religions. I mean, think about all the people that have died just because of, you know, and, and it's it's like it's so religion. interesting to me because like the whole idea of certain parts of those religions is fear mm -hmm. and the idea that God is a jealous God. It's like. If God is supposed to be this thing that is indescribable, mm -hmm. God is supposed to be this thing that is everything, that is this all-encompassing, all-powerful, all-forgiving, all-forgiving yeah. thing. How could you put a human characteristic to that? That's like trying to say God's name is Steve. It's like what that you can't call like how yeah. how are we if we're God's children, right, or something along those lines? How are we supposed to be able to? dictate what God is. 
Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's a, it's, there's like weird little thing. And the whole idea of like fear, you have to fear, fear death, fear hell. It's like, that's no way to live. But then you, you believe that women, um, birth children, right? Yeah. So if you know, I'm like, God has to be a woman, right? Yeah. And, uh, and a lot or of, is he both like, fuck in a lot of ancient, ancient traditions, God was viewed as woman, as like mother, like this like mother nature. Yeah. You know, it gives birth and gives, you know, and this caring figure. Do they talk? I mean, I mean, I gotta, I gotta do my research, but it's like, I've always perceived God as a man. Well, here's it. So do you pray? Yeah, for sure. So when you pray, how do you pray? I usually say, you know, thank you, God, for waking me up this morning. Thank well, like, you, God, for giving me, you know, everything that I have. Thank you, for God, for... Well, do you do you kneel? Do you oh, nah, go somewhere nah. specific? I'll, dude, I'll be driving and I pray. Dude, do oh, you, my God, I'm having a great day. Thank you, God, for blessing yeah, yeah. me to have a great day today. What do you visualize? Like mental imagery. Do you do that mm. or just more so? I don't... You know what? When I do pray, I, I just wish for good things to happen. Or I wish for bad things to go away. Mm -hmm. Or I'm thankful that everything is going how it's supposed to go. Or how I perceived it to go. Mm -hmm. I'm just thankful more than... I'm I'm not even looking... I'm not closing my eyes and like picturing, you know, white Jesus with the blonde hair, hella long, blue eyes. I don't even think about that shit. I literally just like... It's almost like thanking the universe for like... Yeah. You know, thank you for keeping me on the right track. Thank you for blessing me with what I have. Thank you for keeping, you know, all the ducks in a row. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. I think uh, and I, I know some very, you know, Christian people and I wanted to ask them because like when I am like really trying to pray, you know, it's like whenever you go through an extremely difficult time, mm-hmm. you know, there's always kind of that moment where you do close your eyes and you're like, you know what, I'm putting my like all the energy I have into this prayer or something. You know, what I do personally is I like center myself, I get really calm and then I put all of my attention and I kind of like view in my brain, I guess the only way to categorize it, if I tried to visualize it, because I'm not trying to visualize it, I kind of mm-hmm. let whatever happens happen, like just it, a multicolored, spherical, energizing, loving ball of energy that is everything and is nothing. And, you know, it's like this weird AI. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Google AI. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> I hear you, though. No, nah, yeah. I mean, shit. Because, well, here's a question. I wonder if when, like, a very religious person in terms of standard religion, like Christianity or Catholicism, when they're doing that, if they're actively visualizing Jesus. Yeah, I think that's what's happening. And they're picturing Jesus in their mind and this long-haired white dude in robes with his arms out, like, you know. I honestly think that's that's the answer we would probably get. Yeah. Um, Just because that's what's, like, forced down our throats, right, as, like, citizens of this country, yeah, I guess, or like people the United um, States. Cause I don't, maybe people of the world. Like, I don't know. I know there's Christians in Africa and shit and mm-hmm. a ton of Christians all over the fucking world. Yeah. Thanks to us though. We fucking went out there and forced it down their throats. You're right. But <laughs> and, you know, and it's like, what do they fucking, you know, what do they think? Well, it's, know. it's an interesting, it's an interesting ball game, man. Cause even then, like in the Bible, doesn't it say something along the lines of do not worship false idols? Yep. And isn't the idea of a false idol just anything that is, like, you can worship to? So, like, an image. Pretty much, right? So, like, wouldn't the image of Jesus, if you're worshiping to the image of Jesus, wouldn't that be considered an idol? But that's supposed to be his son, right? Yeah. So but then why know. would you? And but maybe he's okay because it's his son, bro. It's like, uh, but, you know. He, he gets a free pass. <laughs> he gets a free pass. But then it's like the whole idea. It's like I, I understand that Christianity is more so around the idea of Jesus and not God. So it's like, well, why mm. why not worship the, right. the creator? I don't get the idea. Because if Jesus wasn't and Jesus human. Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Yeah, yeah. And if Jesus was a human, he was a person. Yeah. He existed. Yeah. It's like factual. But why are you worshiping a human? Because my, my, my whole philosophy is kind of Jesus was real. And he was written. He kind of reached the state of supreme being or whatever you want to call it. Right? You think he was like the first celebrity? Yeah, yeah, I guess. Essentially, well, I mean, he was. Cause, right, because you got to think of it. Like, there's kings and shit. Yeah. And there's, like, emperors and yeah, all that type of shit. But he probably was, like, the first one that wasn't a king. Yeah. Well, he was a king. You know, all this shit's contradictory. But, he, you know, he wasn't a, a king. He wasn't a emperor. 
Yeah. You know, he was just a guy with a lot of game, a lot he of was wisdom. A, he was a carpenter. A carpenter. Yeah. You know what I mean? And he just put people, he just made people feel, he gave blessings to all these people. Put them up on game. Put them up on game. <laughs> That's what I really wanted to say. So it's like, I don't, dude, it's a, yeah. Religion is tricky. Yeah. Well, it, it's interesting. We should get someone who's like super. Oh my God. We get my mom on here. She's going to go crazy, yeah. boy. Yeah, well, I think I think uh, I think religion has really evolved, and like in terms of like our, I don't know that many people our age or younger who are like extremely religious anymore. You know what I mean? Like I yeah. I know people. Well, and, and when I say religion, I mean more so like fully dedicated to Catholicism or Christianity or the kind of the traditional religions. Yeah, I think a lot of people are really kind of developing and reading across multiple religions now, mm-hmm. and kind of developing their own philosophy on life. I believe there's a higher power, you know, but I believe more in being a good person and yeah. respecting every other everyone else's space and, you know, yeah. just being a really a good dude and being a good person, not really trying to harm anyone. Yeah. You know, not trying to belittle anyone or, or, or put anyone down. I think that's really what life's about. Yeah. And I think if everyone's on that same page, you know, tranquility will will be throughout everywhere. Yeah. Um, but as far as like, you know, praying to a certain person or do I don't know having like a certain practice of how I pray or anything like that or going to church all the time? Like, yeah, I don't think that's for me. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a. I mean, but hey, to each his own. If it works for you and it does make you a better person, for sure. And if you don't hold it over people's heads, because that's one of the biggest things that annoys me is someone who is like super into like you know a certain religion and they mm-hmm. judge the heck out of other people. You know what I mean? Like where they're like, well, you need to be my religion because if you're not you're wrong and blah 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 and like you're gonna go to hell and like who's someone like because the people who if they hear a curse word yeah and they freak out (gasps) like that's too far (laughs) you know it's like come on like i was at a family party and uh we were drinking watching the game i believe and i Mm -hmm. kept saying curse words and this lady kept looking at me and then her husband was like hey man my wife's right here can you not say curse words and i'm like dude we're in a garage a bunch of dudes yeah She's the only female in here. First of all, not that that's a problem, but yeah. it's like, I'm going to be a dude. We're talking. We're talking yeah. shit. Like, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, fuck, bro. I get that you go to church every Sunday, twice on Thursdays. Like, it's cool. Yeah. But, bro, you yeah. know what I mean? It's it's interesting. I feel like we could do a whole entire podcast specifically about religion because I got some, yeah. some viewpoints. Another thing, and we can get off, change the topic after this, but... Uh, Whenever I do go to church, right, mm-hmm. I always feel like they're talking to me. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And like, it's like, damn, like, I just feel like they're they're like they know what I'm going through, or they mm-hmm. know what I've been through, or they know what I need to hear. And it's just like, and then I'm like, damn, you know, God is speaking through this person to yeah. me, yeah, because they know I need to hear this, yeah. Um, so going to church sometimes is good, yeah, but a lot of times I just feel like they want my money. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's the tricky part, too. It's like you, there, there's a lot of corrupt. I mean, I guess with any business, even in healthcare, mm-hmm. things are corrupt. So there's totally things in church that are corrupt. 